open a new Unigen project and delete all the elements on stage except the sunlight. We create a folder with the name island where we will load all the useful elements to carry out the project. Inside we create the height map folder and load the height maps created with external programs such as GIA, World Machine or others. We eliminate eventual, JPEG files because they are of low quality. Let's create a landscape terrain. Select the landscape layer map from the world nodes panel. From the panel of parameters we will define the size of our island currently 1000 units per 1000 units which are equivalent to 1 square kilometer. Click on the plus icon to enable the soil layers. From import setting we change the data filling in tileset we drag the texture of the heights into the space for the height maps. Same thing for the color texture in the albedo channel. We enable three masks for the ground before doing the calculation so they will be activated and ready for use. Remember to activate the white color in the masks. We press re-import to start the calculation. The island will be flat because I forgot to enter the maximum height. We set the height to 200 meters and relaunch the calculation. Let's insert the sea now, creating the water global. We click anywhere on the island. We can lower the seabed by sculpting directly on the ground so we can lower the soil. From landscape asset click on brush edit. A panel with brushes will be open to sculpt or paint the ground. Select the layer height map and with the control key pressed we lower the ground. From the parameters of the sea we can lower or increase the shoreline. Let's create two more subfolders called textures and vegetation. In textures I load the PBR textures that I will need to texturize the island.
Now I create the first level with the basic texture of the island. Select Object Landscape Terrain from World Nodes. And add the first detail level in the mask called Ground 1. Activate the detail level, I called Base and drag the respective albedo textures, roughness and height map. I increase the size of my texture, and I lower the intensity of the height map. As you can see the texture is a bit repetitive. To remove this effect, I add another detail layer with the same type of texture, but the size of the texture varies and I use a mask to mix these two textures together. From the additional mask panel, I insert a gray texture that has a random variation to make the ground more realistic. I can also assign a momentary color to view the effect. I insert a detail level in the beach layer and insert the sand textures to create the beach. The texture of the beach is applied to the whole island, overlapping the basic texture, in this case we will give this layer some texture start and end limits. We will enter minimum and maximum values, to tell the texture where it should start from and where it should end, taking sea level as a reference. So on min visibility we will leave infinite negative to indicate that it starts below sea level and in max visibility we will put a positive value to indicate where the texture must go. The value in fade is used to blend the texture with the underlying one. As before, we add other levels of detail and mix the textures with masks. With this system we will be able to mix multiple textures for the whole island.
See you in the next tutorial, subscribe to the Unigenius and Blender Low Poly channel to keep up to date.